Sup y'all, it's Lil Clickly here, welcome back to the channel. Um, so we are under severe thunderstorm warning, um, which doesn't surprise me because we were under tornado watch uh, a couple times today. Um, it is currently um, 8.35 a.m. April 11th, Thursday evening. Um, like I said, we were issued a couple tornado watches, um, and normally when that happens, we don't, we don't normally get tornadoes around here. Sorry, I sound like a, sound like a southern man. I know I'm technically born southern, but I don't really act like I'm southern. But anyway, y'all, um, we are, um, anytime we get a tornado watch, it, it's only a 1% chance of there being a tornado warning. Um, for the most part, it ends up being a severe thunderstorm, and that, as far as bad weather goes, that's main, that's pretty much what we get the most here in Greensboro, North Carolina, um, or Guilford, that's the county, um, and... I don't know if y'all can see. I'm not, sorry, y'all. I think I gotta mess with the camera again to make sure. But um, there it. But um, it's getting pretty. It's getting a little windy and kind of cloudy. Um, but even though we are under tornado watch, and this is the second time we were issued a tornado watch before the severe thunderstorm warning was issued, I don't really see any possible signs of a tornado warning. Um, because the clouds might be dark, but the, but they're not big enough and they're also not low enough. Actually, take it back. They're not flat enough. They're not, um, clouds for there to be a tornado have to be really flat and really low. Um, and I don't really see nothing but classic thunderheads, um, and as far as the sky goes, I do see a bit of a purplish, but pinkish, but no orange or green. So I think we're good as far as tornado goes. Um, also, it's not happening now, but if you hear it during the vlog, please excuse the... What is that? It's locusts. That's what it is. Um, I have a June bug in my house, and it's been flying around, bumping into stuff, and my cat, Mad Eye Moody here, she is trying to catch it. I actually have a lot outside, I don't know if you can hear them. It's actually kind of cool, I haven't heard that sound in a while. I kind of like it, um, brings back a lot of memories for when I was a kid, but... It's 8.37 now, the warning is only till um, 9, until 9 p.m. But, um, I don't think we're really going to get anything. We are supposed to get a storm though around 9, so they might extend it like they've done a few times. I am hoping there won't be a tornado warning because I don't have anything to carry my rabbit or my cat in and I just get nervous about that. Um, I also am hoping it doesn't happen when I am comfortably in my bed asleep because at that point I'll most likely either sleep through it or I might not feel like going up there and just praying to God that one doesn't happen, which it don't look like nothing's going to happen. And I will say this, um, obviously you still want to be mindful, um, when you're in, when there's a tornado warning, whether one has been spotted or not. And 
For those of you who are new to this channel, I do live in a mobile home, and obviously mobile homes or any kind of manufactured home for that matter, unless there's a basement, is, or I guess if there's a bathroom, depending on if it's a modular home or anything, or a container house. But mobile homes, as far as manufactured homes go, are a big no-no when a tornado warning is issued. But I feel like I have a better chance of my mobile home getting destroyed in an F3 than an F2 or F1. Because when we have had tornadoes, we mainly get the real itty-bitty ones. Um, now that I'm in my bedroom walking around trying to talk to you guys, this kind of brings back memories. Um, or a memory during the pandemic. Um... This was kind of during lock. This was pretty much during lockdown. Um, not too long after I started working at STI and first started blogging, um, um, we were under tornado warning. I'd already gotten up once and woke up my brother, but as I was going to the hallway, my dad was like, "It's fine." That was like, "I'm keeping an eye on it. You can just go back to bed." And I figured I would since I did have work in the morning, but. I didn't go to sleep right away because I had a feeling that my mom might be coming into my room to get us up again to tell us there was a tornado warning and sure enough, not three seconds after I was just let, laying in my bed staring at the door and seeing my Echo Dot um, flash yellow again for notification, um, my mom came in saying, hey, come into my room, there's a tornado warning. Um, and. Next thing you know, my dad was looking out the looking out the window in the laundry room and me, my mom and my four brothers um were and my bro my four brothers were laying on the bed. I was just walking around. Um and also looking at the TV. We were all just waiting to see what was going to happen. Um but I remember when my mom came in there, I the first thing I did after I hopped out of, out of my bed was grab Nasir. Because at the time, I was sharing a room with both him and Hunter. And um, I'm a, and obviously, everybody knows, if you know me personally, how much I love my brothers and how protective I can be over them. And being the fact that Nasir did not have his ears on... Um, he probably didn't know what was going on, so I pretty much just jumped out of my bed and picked him up out of his bed and joined my brothers and my mom. Um, but, uh, um, but yeah, I remember coming back the next day and we got kind of an aftermath, no storm or rain, but there was a bit of wind. Um, and. I almost thought I wasn't going to have to go to work that night because my boss at the time, um, if he's watching this, I hope he's doing well, um, texted me saying, I think it was a text or email, I can't remember, saying, hey, um, we might not be going into work today depending on the weather. So that kind of showed me, um, that kind of showed me um, the kind of relationship you can have at your job, um, and one time, later on when I was working at Roto-Rooter, we also tried to keep our eye on the weather, I remember a few, I remember the, one of the guys who was, was the main alpha of the Roto-Rooter we were at, um, he had his TV turned on to the weather, he always does, and then the, I can't remember, I still can't remember what he does, I've asked him several times, but old Sabra, Love you, Sabra, if you're watching this. Um, he was in there, too, along with a few of the other managers, keeping an eye on the weather, and I was, too. Um, I remember one time there was... I did happen to have... Oh, wait, I already told you. Well, I'll tell y'all again. Um, I did happen to have a tornado warning video at my work um, around March, but... Somehow it didn't upload, and I didn't have the video on my... This is recording, isn't it? Okay, just making sure. 
I didn't have the video on my channel. I mean, I'm sorry, on my computer, unfortunately, so I just had to kind of nix it. Got a few other channel vid, um, videos that will be late that I'm trying to fix because I had a problem with uploading videos on my channel, but anyway... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that very long extended intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Lil Clayclay and I have high functioning autism. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Alright, so. Um. Right now, it's starting to rain. It just stopped for a second and now it's raining again. My Easter decoration. I really don't. I really hope nothing happens to it. I really should have already put it in the put it away. But up, oh, I see lightning. Hopefully it'll be fine. I need to go ahead and put it away because the poor thing's been sitting out there. I've just been forgetting to put it up because it doesn't have a box. It just sits in a container. That's not hell, is it? I'm trying to get away from my window because of the lightning. Up, I'm gonna text my mom. Let's look at the weather here. You know what? I'll use my iPad instead. I see some lightning, so you might get some crazy weather heading your way. Let me get up my iPad, because I don't want to use my phone, keep it charged in case the power goes out. And I'm really hoping, especially now that the, hoping a tornado warning isn't issued, now that the storm's already starting to hit, because at that point, um, I wouldn't be able to, um, so, yo, I'm just texting my mom. Alexa, what's the notification? Alexa, stop. Sorry, y'all. Um, because at that point, when a tornado warning is issued during a storm, that's a sign that one's either been spotted or... <laughs> One's already about, so I really wouldn't have time to get my cat or my rabbit. It'd especially be too dangerous to to get my rabbit. Oh, yeah, it's getting real nasty. But, yeah, I'd be... Um, but, yeah, I'd have to leave them here. Animals are smart, and I feel like God would protect them, but... Trying to figure out if that's hail or if that's just hard rain. Here's some thunder. No, that's not hail. Oh, I still got my little Easter rabbit. Oh, Y'all can't see. But yeah, it's getting windy. Rain's calming down a bit. get up my iPad here figure out what's going on I need to give that charger back to my mom because that charger doesn't belong to me I think I put it in the bag by accident now that I think yeah I put it in the bag by accident I think I am hoping my iPad doesn't die because I was going to record some rap music if I had time today do I not have AccuWeather on my iPad? Hang on, y'all. I'm 
Um, if you guys are looking for a good weather app, I would recommend AccuWeather. Because um, I think it's actually... I think Noah, the company... I know all um, from the Weather Radio Company um, helps with that app. Um, this is my Weather Radio. It's actually been sitting up here unused. That's because when I had roommates, um, the one thing that could that did get pretty annoying is it pretty much would blare at you all the time, even if it was just even if it wasn't technically near your part of the county or in your county at all and sometimes it would go off too late so and obviously it always goes off during the weekly test and I didn't want it to bother my roommates I don't know and I'm pretty sure it might bother my brother I am considering though getting something a bit smaller that might beep at you but it's only loud enough for maybe one person to hear Maybe I can keep it in my room, just cause, that way there won't be any problems. I mean, I don't think it would bother my brother too much, but still. Oh yeah, it's getting nasty. Let's check the radar. And this is how it and it looks like it might stay that way till 10:50 p.m. but around sometime around maybe 10 o'clock that's when it might calm down a little so we look at the clouds okay So it's kind of dark, lots of rain. And then, oh, let's do. And then we had all maps. Here we go. We can also see here. I didn't know it could do. We had it had other maps. I don't know where Rural Hall is. As you can see. Now oh, it even has kind of the detailed reading as they say on the announcement. It's getting pretty nasty out there. I saw some lightning. Stop recording for a second. See what else it does. I think we got another one. Alexa. What's the notification? Two new notifications. From Amazon. U.S. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Greensboro. It'll be in effect until April 11th, 9 p.m. EDT. U.S. National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch for Greensboro. It'll be in effect until April 11th, 11 p.m. EDT. Even though it's past 9 p.m., as you guys can hear, it's already starting to get well. It's getting pretty nasty. You can kind of hear it a bit more because of that window unit. Starting to hear some thunder. Oh yeah, getting pretty windy too gonna back up a little so I don't get struck by lightning
One time I was out here trying desperately to get my roommate's dog, um, Chris's dog, into the house. I was taking him out for him. There was a storm and it, um, right over across the road, I could see, ooh, lightning, backing up a little bit further now. I could see some a big flash. I didn't hear anything. I just saw it. It was like a it was like a small little circle from where I was standing. I'm pretty sure that was a transformer blowing. Seeing some lightning. Nothing too severe, just a lot of heavy rain. But yep, I think we got another one. Alexa, what's the notification? Two new notifications from Amazon. U.S. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Greensboro. It'll be in effect until April 11th, 9 p.m. EDT. U.S. National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch for Greensboro. It'll be in effect until April 11th, 11 p.m. EDT. Even though it's past 9 p.m., as you guys can hear, it's already starting to get well. It's getting pretty nasty. You can kind of hear it a bit more because of that window unit. Starting to hear some thunder. Getting pretty windy too. Gonna back up a little so I don't get struck by lightning. One time I was out here trying desperately to get my roommate's dog, um, Chris's dog, into the house. I was taking him out for him. There was a storm and it, um, Right over across the road, I could see, ooh, lightning, backing up a little bit further now. I could see some a big flash. I didn't hear anything. I just saw it. It was like a, it was like a small little circle from where I was standing. I'm pretty sure that was a transformer blowing. Seeing some lightning, nothing too severe, just a lot of heavy rain. But yep. All right, so. We got another severe thunderstorm warning issued. As usual, it's late. This is why I say whenever people start saying that sirens aren't effective enough or they always go off late. Actually, I took it back when pe why I say when people say that. Because guess what? Phones aren't any different. And you still have a better chance of when you're out and about because... You can't always hear your phone go off, even if it overrides the, the weather alert, overrides the system. And there are places where we have to turn our phones off, people. Um, that you have a better chance of hearing them sirens than you do your phone. 
and I believe that the phones actually help ser help the sirens serve as another purpose for um, as far as whether let's go, which is as I said, let's say your phone is deep in your bag, you can't hear it, or you're somewhere where you have to turn your phone off, maybe at work or an event, but then uh oh, there go the sirens. You think, oh, I better check my phone and see what's going on. So there you go. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any. The closest we have to outdoor alarms here in Guilford, North Carolina, are the sirens at the universities. Um, there are some at the Hot Point University and also at the at GTCC. I'm pretty sure both locations. I assume. If you guys remember that tornado warning where I filmed the sirens going off at my parents' house, that's where the sirens were. But yep. Alright, so it's raining a bit harder now. Um, I saw a bit of lightning and thunder, but nothing too bad. simple rain. I always like listening to the rain. It just makes me feel calm. You know, it's one of many God's many create many wonderful creations. And I always think about the time when God blood of the earth and then he created a rainbow. The first ever rainbow and every time we see that this is why it shocks me that there are so many people in the world who don't believe that God is real. Because the first ever rainbow was created. Everything was created on this earth by God. Every living thing. Everything we see when we step out of our homes. But when we look at a rainbow, the first ever rainbow was created by Him. And it symbolized a promise that after he flooded the earth that he was never going to flood the earth again. And it shocks me that other people think the rainbow just appeared. That was crazy. Um, and I happen to live across a couple of places that, just like church, it's occupied by every Sunday. But unfortunately, it's occupied by, um, it's occupied by people who unfortunately don't believe Jesus Christ is from Savior. Um, one of them is a, um, a Mormon church. Um, I always, every time I walk by that church and then when I, go my other path. I have two different ways that when I go on my daily walks. Um, but there are there is it's also on my other side, sorry y'all. Um one of it's one of those vlogs where you forget what you're gonna say. Um on my other side of walk there's a Muslim temple, and every time I see those two places when I walk by them, I always pray, I always just talk to God, I always hope that one day, um, even if it's just one person, they believe that that is not the true way of worship, that is not the true way to get to heaven, that is not who God truly is, and I also pray that when after Judgment Day, after the seven years are done and the and the and the time on this earth is finished, I pray that everyone on this earth will have turned their backs on what will be known as the Antichrist, but in our hearts it will be known as the enemy will have converted to Jesus Christ. Because if not, whatever they suffer that day when God destroys the earth will be cupcakes compared to what suffering they're going to endure for eternity once God once God 
sends the devil back down to hell and seals it up for good. I remember at church one one time one of the pastors um was talking about when he was on a mission mission trip and he passed by a Muslim cemetery and he cried and I can't blame him I think when we passed by those places that there were people who thought they were going to paradise but they would find out that Everything they believed in wasn't the truth. You know? And it's hard because you know at that point there's nothing you can do. Once a person's body dies, that's it. But God can still save them. I can't remember his name. The founder of the Church of Satan, when he was on his deathbed, before he died, quoted, Something is wrong here. And it's because he was seeing the Lord Jesus Christ. And obviously we all know that. And there has been rumors that I've been speculating that he, even though... It was too late at that point. He most likely could have. It is possible that he had converted to Jesus Christ at that very moment. Because God is because God will call anybody in and won't turn anybody away, even if they decide at last minute they want to believe in him. I pray that as warriors we can get as much people before our time on this earth comes to an end to know exactly who God is and all his creations like this weather alright y'all so I'm going to end this YouTube video I hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video bye guys